All right, guys, welcome back to the first update on Tropical Storm Colin, which has formed in the Atlantic Ocean in the Gulf Stream, and it is expected to be a tropical storm threat to the coastlines of South Carolina and North Carolina, as the storm center is actually over land right now. Yes, it is actually over land on South Carolina, as it's, and it is expected to stay over land until it goes up north to North Carolina before entering the open Atlantic Ocean. Currently with winds of 40 miles per hour, that is 35 knots, a pressure of 1,009 millibars that is moving northeast at 8 miles per hour as of this latest update brought to you by Curtis Simplified. So take a look at the NHC forecast comb, you can see uh, overland on South Carolina right now and it's expected to stay overland when it goes into North Carolina and then go out into the open Atlantic 2am Monday um, and right now as you can see it's pretty a bit of a shocker we did not expect this to form as 9 hours ago this was a 10% chance from the NHC now it's tropical storm Colin this just shows how bad the NHC can be at predicting these sort of storms um, but yeah tropical storm uh, warnings are in force for South Carolina North Carolina as well Take a look at the model intensity guidances and you can see most of them have it as a tropical storm now but most of it have been dying off really that's probably when it um leaves north carolina and turns extra tropical as that is 168 hours out um but yeah potential impacts for north carolina heavy rainfall potentially impacting the areas as well um potential flash flooding as well but of course the tropicals is lower here and um, so the cloud tops won't be as high as say in the caribbean sea um in like october Take a look at the visible imagery and uh, you can see that uh, it's not actually been doing too bad. The center, of course, is still over land, but the convection it's been blowing up is actually really good. It is a lot more organized than it was yesterday. Um, and when I say a lot more, I mean like loads more. Um, but yeah, uh, of course, tropical storm warnings in force for uh, North and South Carolina with potential uh, flooding issues and rainfall issues. And there may be prolonged spots of rain where it rains for like 20 minutes non-stop and then it stops for like an hour. So that could be potentially um, impactful as well. Take a look at the true color zoomed out imagery and you can see uh, just how the storm's been developing um, in the Atlantic. You can see all that convection firing out um, in the open Atlantic Ocean there in the Gulf Stream. And that's where most of the tropical storm force winds are in this system. They are um, out of the system in the Gulf Stream right now. But some of them are on land uh, and they will be moving up towards North Carolina. So there are threats for North Carolina and South Carolina. Anyway, thank you for watching this update on Tropical Storm Colin. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next update. Peace out.